Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, so never enough ammo. Tag me uh, for the the latest one that's going around, and this is the five must-have items during the SHTF. Now we all know that the, there's a, a whole bunch of different ways we can get to the SHTF. So the way that I'm interpreting this tag is more of a, a bug out situation, and uh, you know that's just my my personal take on it. That's what I'm going to run with. So my five items, my my five must-have items for SHTF. First off would be flashlight. This here is my Phoenix TK10 and ever since I bought that I have used that every single day. 99% uh, every single day. And obviously if we lose electricity once the sun sets you're going to need some sort of light source to you know, see anything in the house or, or to get around, do anything outside. Um, you know, Unless you have good moon coverage it gets pitch black, you know, once you're in the rural areas where there, there are no lights or if the electric goes out or whatever. And I mean pitch black to where you can't see your hand in your face. So a light source is going to be absolutely critical. Um, coincidentally, this guy's, you know, takes these one, two, three batteries, and I run a, a whole bunch of different battery types through this uh, flashlight, and Duracell hands down lasts the longest. The other guys last on average about a month, and I just took these Duracell out, and it was a little over two months that they'd been in there. So I don't know if anybody has better battery choices, let me know. Okay, second item must have SHTF is going to be a knife. Um, you, you know, you, you want, if you only could have to rely on one knife, you're going to want some sort of work knife. Uh, you know, this is just a new Kershaw uh, EDC knife that I got. Um, cheap, unfortunately made in China, but it actually seems like a pretty good knife. Uh, you're going to need something. Knife is definite must-have. Okay, third uh, must-have item for the SHTF, of course, is going to be a gun. And no, obviously not a water gun, which has no water in it, but uh, an actual real gun. Most likely for the SHTF, if you have to pick one uh, weapon, it's going to be a rifle, not a handgun. Now, you might be asking, why am I showing you a, a plastic water gun and not throwing down a nice Glock or something like that? Well, the fact of the matter is, I don't own any guns. And I know collectively all my subs watching this just went, oh, what? You know, how do you consider yourself a prepper and why are you in the tactical channels if you actually don't own any firearms? Well, the truth of it is that the New York gun laws suck and I'm really not too keen on giving up all the info and going through all the hoopla and spending all the money to to get you know legal firearms. So the way I see it is I, I know a lot of people on YouTube and in the real world who have guns, people like Never Enough who have thousands and thousands of pistols and rifles in their gun rooms. And you know I'm pretty confident with the, some of the relationships that I have that if this SHTF does come along if I can get to where these people are, they, they wouldn't have a problem swapping me out a, a rifle for some other stuff that I've been uh, stocking up on. So I'm not too worried about that front, but the gun is definitely a must-have in SHTF. Okay, fourth item. Must-have SHTF. Matches. Fire is going to be mucho important. You know, if we lose electricity, the main heat source is going to be uh, wood stoves. And last I checked, you ain't starting up any wood stoves without matches. So, strike anywheres are great. Regular matches, lighters, you know, I mean, you know, whatever. But, fire source. Um, okay, so for, uh, fifth, for the fifth item in the must-have SHTF, I've actually got two items that I just can't choose between because I, I feel that they're both equally as important. So I'm going to present both of them as the fifth option and you all can just choose which one you think is uh, more critical. So the first of these last two would be a deck of adult playing cards. Now we all know that when SHTF comes we're going to have uh, you know some, some slow points where we're, the boredom sets in. And uh, a good deck of playing cards is great because, you know, you get to uh, pass the time. I'm trying to keep them standing up, but I don't think it's going to do that. You can pass the time and you can play by yourself. 
no pun intended. Or, you know, if you have a group of people, you can uh, break out the cards and play some poker, and you could actually win everybody else's five critical items. So, I mean, that's, that's a great thing to have. And, you know, if you have to bug out to the mountains, up into the high mountain ranges, I mean, folks, they don't call it the high lonesome for nothing. So it could get uh, some, some cold, lonely nights up there in the woods by yourself. So adult playing cards, I definitely think, are up there on the list. And like I said, this is the, uh, the second one. that It's between that and the cards that I'm just not sure about. Let me get that one for you right now. Okay, so the, the other potential fifth item, critical must-have for the SHTF, is a chicken okay now I know you might be thinking how is a chicken a critical item for the SHTF but chickens are actually super super versatile obviously I see you get on frame there obviously you could eat the eggs that's a given but also chickens are great SHTF companions they're very very agreeable they can they can help you make decisions. You know, you can talk to them and they'll give you good advice. Also, they're very easy to handle. I mean, look at her. She's just standing there, chilling out. She's not causing problems. They don't eat too much. You don't have to worry about them biting you and, you know, attacking you when you're not, uh, when you least expect it or anything like that. Really, a really good item to have in the SHTF. The other thing that people totally overlook about chickens is their tactical use. I know, you think I'm crazy, but hear me out. Let's say you're in the woods and you got your, your five items which include a chicken. And let's say someone's chasing after you and you're, you're trying to evade, okay? You can take the chicken and if they're like sneaking up behind you, you can throw the chicken in a bush. And, and the chicken's gonna jump around and flap around and the people that are coming after you, they're gonna go right to the bush. Or at least they're going to be distracted and they're going to focus on that bush. And you could sneak up behind them and take care of them. Or you could, you could run away or, you know, you can do whatever you need to do. The other thing is, you could actually take the chicken, like if you, if you lost your knife and you were out of ammo. And again, these, these, some guys were coming after you and you had to make a last stand. You could take the chicken and you could throw the chicken at them. Now... Again, a chicken is not, you know, it's not going to hurt them. It's not really going to kill them. It's not like going to be like a Doberman that you sick on them. But I mean, if you get a chicken that's flapping its wings and freaking out and screaming and it comes flying right at your face, it's at the least, it's going to be a distraction, a major distraction. And, you know, at the best, you know, you might get lucky. It might knock their gun out of their hands or something like that. And you can, you can get the advantage. So a chicken... You know, like I said, I don't know. The, the playing cards are chicken. To me, I, I, I just couldn't choose. So you guys can let me know what you think for that fifth one. That's my five items, folks. Later, YouTube. Come on, come back. Come on, get out. Get out from under the table now. Seriously, I don't want to have to crawl. Come on. What are you doing back there? Alright, come on. Come here.